Well, let's go to page 113 here in the book. And um, I, I'm, I'm going, it's called Independence Day, but I'm jumping over to page 114 and 115. All right. Go ahead just real quick and talk about what this chapter is about and and go ahead and grab two or three of these things that you mentioned on page 114 and 115 that tie into it. I love to think about Abraham Lincoln. I didn't know that particular point that you brought out. Okay. Uh, I want to just made a point that miracles didn't just happen in the Bible. Miracles happen all the time in our everyday life. And it, they have happened in our country to make America what it was going to be and what it has become. And we've had those miracles. And I've just told some stories about some different presidents, George Washington, you know, getting bullets, had four bullets shot through his coat and his hat shot off his head. But yet he survived it because he was to be the first president of the United States. Yes, sir. Ford's Theater, not the first time that Lincoln had been somebody's target. In August of 1864, a sniper took a shot at him, knocked his stovepipe hat off. <laughs> so, you know, that's getting pretty close if somebody shoots your hat off. We <laughs> laugh about that in westerns, but boy, that, that's getting way too close. <laughs> that's getting a bit uncomfortable right there. It's, it's uncomfortable. Uh, we've had, look, look at George W. Bush. He had a problem in Russia. Well, we, it, it, squeaky Frome, remember that name? I do. The Benson family took a shot at Gerald Ford or pulled a gun out and uh, pulled the trigger and nothing happened. But this was, you know, this was <laughs> divine intervention that got, was involved here. We can't just think that's coincidences. I don't believe in coincidences. I believe yeah. there is, um, it, it's, all, it's all part of the plan. And there's been all kinds of wonderful things that have happened and not happened to the leaders of our country who helped make it what it is. Amen. True. 